Hi guys, let's be a simple user and install ArchNix. I choose for X4, I choose for System D Boot, I choose for SDDM, I choose for Network Manager. And then when everything is installed, you clone it. And so you can keep on trying and trying to perfect. And here we are to perfect your own version of the Arclingus Nemesis script. So none of the knowledge configurations are gone of Arclinux. First of all, they're all online, they're shared. And secondly, um, we have the Nemesis repo, so my personal repo. Packages that I'm missing, I'll grab them from Arclinux, rename them to edu, and so on, right? So basically, the goal is, from now on, to never build Arco, net Arco Plasma again, and just start with the ISO that we get either the one from May or April or earlier. And then also Arconix ISO 3, right? Archlinks ISO, Arconet and Arcoplasma, that's correct. And then if you've made your decisions, um, my decision is XFCE and ChatWL, right? None of the rest is covered. But if you happen to have the same idea, and of course uh, you can figure out other things to install or to add basically it's just scripting first of all let's see what we get this burage meaning two lines okay fine but there is no git installed so git needs to be installed that's one another thing that i hate about arch is that they don't have bash completion on so i need to type every little word so now i don't have to type every little word right eric log out log out from now on, I can use the tab. So the, to the left, we have a tab key. So there we are. Let's git clone the code. You make something similar. Git hub start with mine and start with that. Rename it to anything you like. CD Arclinux, Nemesis, LS, these are the scripts, these are my choices, I just run zero. Do I want ChatWM? That's not the question actually, but I keep it in, yes. Voila. And then it goes on, installing all kinds of things, and maybe we should just control C this thing already. Eh, why? Well, because, close the window, because I would like to, from time to time, scroll back. So preferences, unlimited scroll back close all right let's restart that Arclex nemesis open in terminal zero nope not that one this one and off it goes so yes we're gonna get our own Arclex servers we're gonna get the chaotic key ring you just check the code we have our own pacman.conf because yes I know because we have um, the Nemesis repo and Chaotic AOR, that's why we need it. Different order of things, different uh, repositories, sublime text. Melt, rip, grab, and it goes on, right? Goes on. Installing stuff from Chaotic AOR. So, whenever you see messages or warning or was already installed, that's okay because, again, these scripts will run on, on anything, Endeavor OS, Garua, at, and the likes, but mainly they should work on Arconet, Arco Plasma, and Arsenix, right? And all the rest later. These three are basically the ones I start with, the other ones are for fun. So we've got um, a lot of things. It goes on and goes on. Now at least I can scroll up and scroll down unlimited we're gonna have PAMAC AOR it's coming from the nemesis repo so anything that I'm missing on Arch anything that I'm missing on Celtic that's up to you to build it right you can build it in AOR like I do Opera a little bit later on or you can say I'll put it on my repo and learn how to create a repo on the Arconix website which, which will go over we will keep online for the coming years or right. we'll see how uh, the money lasts a 
all of this are just decisions if you don't want to set the icons you just put hashtag in front of that line it won't be installed but keep the lines in it's easier to melt later on so in a year's time you're gonna watch again what is the Arcanix Nemesis? What changed on the Arcanix Nemesis? Melt your two folders, compare your two folders, and then a uh, hashtag is easily spotted. An extra line, you're yeah, sure. Okay, up to you. Workflow. Chromium is going to be installed. So off it goes, right? I know. Just want to put you on the side. <laughs> One of the settings in VirtualBox that I need to change. All right. So in the template, where is that? Drag outside somewhere. That's the one disabled. Disabled. Voila. Will never occur if we clone the template again. All right. This will occur because it's still there. We're running it. Don't think we can change this thing at this point. We learn every day, right? I can drag it to the site. It won't bother it anymore. So that particular setting is okay. So you venture your way into coding. That's a good thing. Lots of, let's uh, go to lots of uh, code videos. I mean, that you can have a look at. Open the folder here. So this is, yeah, we can't drag it. It's hard, right? Uh, so you take a look, right? Code. What is this code? What does this do? I think Sublime Text is already installed, so I can say forget about Vim. Sublime Text. Voila. Now have a look. So like I said, if you don't want, don't want something like maybe this, I don't know, hop, boom. The line is still there, it won't be installed. You can still compare easily in the future. We're at the end of Nomax. You wonder why I'm not changing the resolution. It can have 1920 and 1080. Now it's 1020, 280 on 800. That should go automatically. On virtual machine. No problem on real metal. The fonts are coming in. So and the big chunks are coming from Kill to KOR. 4,000 packages you can download there. 4,000 plus, I suppose. Now we're installing ChatWM. At some point in time, the dot config should have our chatwm folder to launch it later on. Definitely still needs some work on the my maps list that's 100% perfect on any particular file. That's something for the coming years. Oh, not 
automatically stretched. Here's your Arco Chat WM and more. Anything we've installed and all the settings we like and love. This is what you get, right? If you run this, this is what you get. Change things if you don't like it. This is the personal approach, no longer in the name of Arcalix, but the name of Eric. Saying, I'm a user, I'm gonna go do whatever I wanna do with Arch. But why lose all the work, right? Doesn't make sense. Now we're booting up. Remember the Super Shift Q, because when I launch things, this is for a real metal machine. I want like InSync, Dropbox, Discord, Telegram, I want it all to be there. But, right, pop pops, pop pops, Super Shift Q, Super Shift Q, Super Shift Q, Super Shift Q, one more, and you're here escape so this is my setup um, bigger if if on virtualbox right add virtualbox guest utils boom that's all I need to do and it takes care of the rest I'm done and for the rest basically it's just um, voila this up all check again AOR check and for the rest new fetch maybe okay fast fetch or ff so yes a rip is there uh, uh i don't know up all i mean all the aliases they're all here fix key is here why reinvent the wheel right all the scripts are there the ones that i need and if i'm missing something in the future i'll add it to the arclangus nemesis Let's take a look at that. Sudo pacman minus remove. Remove me anything R, right? R includes Arch, includes Arco. And as you see, the only thing I have kept is the Arch Linux logout, which is super X, is this thing, because I like it. Probably will still keep developing it because I like to exit that way. And the rest, there is no Arco, right? That's one. What edu is there? This is what I've installed. The GTK theme from Arc, but then a Dawn version, a softer um, blue, grayish. RKDE, chatwm, dot files is what it sounds like. Anything I could just um, throw in a, in a bunch. I mean, all, any, any, any file I'll think that, oh, we had that on our links, I we should have it on my system, right? So, edu.files. Hblock is for all the spammers and the trollers and all the shit on the internet. And Rofi is needed, uh, XFC, special SDM simplicity. Shells is root, meaning the root file, Articlinks root. So basically bash, fish, ZSH, all in one, why not that, right? And then variety configuration, you know I like variety. XFC4, our own look, our own design. We kept it, we could move it down there, we could move it to the left or to the right, whatever, right? It's just design, rising. And that's it, basically. Um, I think I told you everything. We'll take a look at the code. They should say, oh, that looks interesting. Why not start with Arch and then, um, well, omit or add things to the Arclinks Nemesis scripts and take control of Arch. Cheers.